Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today I'm bringing you something a little bit sweaty, something that I really enjoy, something that's a little bit fun. Obviously you can see I'm only a level 2, because I haven't had an account before, uh, and I played on a different account a long time ago, quite a bit. So, we are here with Ginny Agessa, I've been watching, I've been watching quite a few videos, um, of people playing Geo Guess. I just wanted to have another go. And I've been seeing the absolutely awful map around a little bit. So <laughs> I kind of wanted to have it have a go. The average score is 7,431. Guys, we're just trying to beat that. We're not trying to do anything incredibly meta. Uh, but let's uh let's have a go. Single player, of course, default settings, no time limit, moving allowed. Um I think we'll get rid. Okay, go on. We'll allow moving for this one, and then if it's a little bit easy. We will go on to the next one. Oh my days. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> when I say interesting, this could be anywhere in the world, guys. <laughs> I mean, there's tropical plants. Hello, sir. Can't really see you. There's a gym outside next to the pool, guys. There's a gym outside next to the pool. But decidedly temperate trees, if that makes sense. Not a chance. With tropical plants as well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Southern Europe, but at the same time, guys, this could equally. Oh, la residence. Oh, oui, 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 oui. La... I mean, it's a bit skew, skew if, but <laughs> la residence. Let's just see. Is the sun? The sun is over there. So the sun is in the southwest. That. So the sun's in the south. This has got to be France then, surely. If the sun's in the south, this can't be a southern hemisphere French territory. I'm thinking south of France somewhere. Is there anything we can get from over here? I can't see anything, guys. It's literally... There's a guy there, head in hands. I, th that is me, guys. That is me right now. That is me. Oh, Jesus. This is tough. This is truly an awful map. But La Residence. I mean, it could just be a French hotel in a non-French country, but... Ashtray. Gotta be France. Gotta be France, guys. I've seen the ashtray now. We're going for France. Now, whereabouts in France shall we go? I'm gonna say it's a little bit run down. It's gotta be southern coast. I'm gonna go around Marseille. Flag the Prado. There we are. Not near the Statue of David. Some, The Red Lion. It's by the Red Lion. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> uh, enter Jamina. In Chad. Oh. I don't know how I was going to get that. <laughs> Chad, guys. It's in Chad. Okay, well. Fine, I just thought it was a rundown hotel in, in France, but fine. Okay, they speak French in Chad, we know that, but... Right, okay. Hello, people. Different, many different ethnicities of people. I'm thinking South America. Okay, yeah, definitely thinking South America. I mean... Brazilian flag, yeah. I was gonna say, is this Rio? you got the classic type of bay here. The big Rio Bay. Whatever whatever the bay is called. I don't know what the bay is called, guys. But bay. White sandy beaches. Of course, Brazilian flags. But is there any clues to whether we might be in Rio or not? Hmm. It's very nice. Looks sunny, sandy, and nice. I wish I was there right now. A big lorry just parked on the side of the beach there. Interesting. It's too blurry to really pick anything out. I mean, is that not... Hmm, no. I'm going to sound really dumb there. It doesn't look like there's a statue on that mound, guys. So it might not be Rio. But we know it's Brazil. So, But Brazil is a massive place. Brazil is absolutely huge. I mean, it's got to be in this bay, right? So if we're looking north from here, saying directly north... Uh... Looking north, and it kind of curls around. 
Oh, is, is it Rio then? Because if we're looking north... I mean, it's, the compass could be wrong, though. That's the one thing. Because if we're looking north, that genuinely looks like the that bridge there, right? Bridge? It, it must be huge, that bridge, though. And that doesn't look as big. We'll look If we're looking north towards it, that must be the sea that way. Does it? It does. Come on. I th we're on the left-hand side. I think we might get this, you know. Let's find a beach around here. Mm, looking north towards that. Let's find a beach. There's a beach here. That's that shape is the beach. Slightly curved. Comes around like that. Hmm, is that the beach? Is there a bit of a park here? Yes, there is. Is that the beach? It could also be that beach. It could also be this beach. Hmm, is there a main road next door? It looks more like a park. So I gotta go, I've gotta go with this beach. I could be completely wrong. <sighs> 2,904 kilometers. Are you joking? This is... There's nothing here. <laughs> oh, come on. The coordinates are completely wrong. I am fucking fuming. That was Rio. <laughs> that was Rio, bro. Let me press on it. Let's see what it says. Because that's robbed us. That has robbed us, guys. I'm pretty sure I got li literally the exact place. Well, <sighs> drone films, you have fucking screwed us there, bro. Thank you for that. Next round. I'm pretty sure I got the exact right one, bro. Okay, we're underwater. That's that's helpful. That's really helpful. The oceanagency.org. Right. Where have you been surveying? Oh, we can move as well. Okay. We've always got this thing below us. There was a shipwreck. I'm assuming... Okay, that's as far as we can go. It's a pretty big shipwreck. Any clues we can get from the ship... It looks, it does look wooden, so I'm thinking, I mean, it looks tropical water, right? Sandy down below, bit of fish. Okay, keep loading. That's, this is definitely different from the place we were at the start. It's, it's not moving now. I've got to go Caribbean then. There's no other clues. Jesus, this map is cursed, guys. This is the most cursed map. Oh my god. <sighs> I, I, I mean, I, the only reason why I'm thinking Caribbean is, is Pirates of the Caribbean right now, guys. There's no other reason. We'll go in between uh, Guadeloupe and uh, Antigua and Barbuda. Oh my god, yes! Come on! <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean for the win, bro. <laughs> only movie one, though. After that, it's trash. Right. Wait, no. You've just given me this. Well, this that's a bit... That's a bit gamey, isn't it? I don't like that. Watch it be somewhere completely different. We were in between Guadeloupe, Antigua and Barbuda, and it was up here. Let's guess. Wait, yeah, it just showed us the previous one. This this map is it's just prime cursed, bro. Just prime cursed. Not even... No. Come on. Load that in. Okay, there we are. I, I have actually seen this one, guys, on uh, Geo Wizards channel, so I I can remember what country it's in, but I can't remember where it was in the country. Somehow we got mega close as well. Hmm. I know where it is. It's in the Philippines, guys, just so you know. And it's out in the ocean as well, which is kind of weird. Whoops, what am I doing? I wouldn't mean to press there. It was up here, right? It was up around one of these small islands. Really small. Well, seeing as we know, knew it was in the Philippines, I'm just going to press on one. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, it's down here. In turn eight. Right. In the ocean, as you see. Again. Fantastic. Well, we'll view the summary, guys. And we'll probably have another go at that. I mean, we got absolutely screwed over, screwed over twice. Like, what is this about? What is this about? <laughs> we got screwed, bro. And then uh, the one for Toronto, it didn't actually show what it was. It showed the previous one. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this guess, though. <laughs> Perhaps the Caribbean for the win. Uh, this guess was, uh, yeah, disastrous. 
Anyway, we, we got better than the average points, guys. Let's see if we can get over 10,000. Ideally 20,000, but it's it's pretty much impossible on this unless you get something incredibly good. Right, guys, we're going to start another game, our second game. I did start another one, but unfortunately, there was a it was a shop with lots of figurines in. And one of those figurines was quite lifelike, and it had boobs. And I'm pretty sure that YouTube would not be too happy with that. So <laughs> I had to restart. Um, now, where the hell are we right now? <laughs> Obviously, somewhere far, far north. Oh, God. It's got to be genuinely anywhere. Uh, containers down there. I'm getting Canada vibes. Then again, it could be Finland or Sweden. I mean, this... Okay, it's an Orthodox cross. So it's not Canada. You would definitely... Unless there was a very orthodox person here, I guess, in Canada. But this has to be Russia, then. Where else is orthodox? Greece. So it's not Greece. Um, Russia. Um, Ukraine is Catholic, right? How about these countries? I'm pretty sure these are Catholic. I'm not sure about Belarus, though. But how about Finland? Finland will be Protestant, right? I'm guessing, I'm guessing it has to be Russia. Come on. It's got to be Russia. Orthodox cross. That's the only thing I've got to go on right now. <laughs> and the fact that it looks very, very like Russia in my head. <laughs> right. Let's go next to Krilov. It's could, I mean, if, if it's in Russia, I'm happy. It could be like over here and we'll get zero points. But we shall see. <gasps> it was! Oh, No! It was in Russia, just the complete other side. Where are you? Uh, it's just a forest over there. It's just literally tiger forest and tundra no up north. Like, oh, that's 193 points in the bag. Yay. Right, next one. And please load. Ah. God, I have see I've seen this one as well, guys. <laughs> so we get two gimmies on every round, right? We get a gimme on every round. But, as I say, I have seen this, but I can't remember. Nueva. I know it's it's in South America, right? <laughs> I can't remember where, though. Oh, was it South America? I, I think it was Uruguay. <laughs> so, this is a gimme. Hey, bro. How are you doing, bro? Mini Picada Craft Beer Store. In a market. Gonna go for Uruguay. If this is wrong, and it's a bit embarrassing, seeing as I have seen this one before on someone's video. An indoor market. Look for an indoor market. Mercado somewhere. Can we see Mercado? Museo. Pizza. <laughs> Mercado. Oh, whatever. Go there. Ah, oh, yep. 2.2k. I knew it was Uruguay. That's a gimme. That's a gimme. Just got a free 5,000 points. We've got to make it count. But for some reason, the flat earthers are wrong. The earth is not flat. It's actually a giant octagon, as we can see. Parts of the octagon coming together here, guys. Evidence. Evidence that the earth is an octagon. That's big brain play. It's big brain play. Oh my good lord. Where in the hell have we ended up? Well, actually, somewhere with a giant port. A giant, giant port. Well, not giant. It's, it's a pretty decently sized port, though. That... Hey, are we... This might be completely and utterly wrong. I'm guessing it is. Let's have a look at the sun. The sun is clearly in the south, so we're in the northern hemisphere. Oh, do you know... <laughs> Those are conifers, but kind of, uh, it kind of looks dry though. It doesn't look too wet. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's the colors of Croatia. I've got to go Croatia then, haven't I? I was going to say, with that mountain there, I was getting Vesuvius vibes, but I don't think Vesuvius has that big a, uh, that big a port. So let's go Croatia. That's the only thing we're going for, but by 
all I know, that's some sort of warning to boats. Like, that's probably a warning to boats. But clear evidence that the Earth is an octagon. That is one thing that we have found with GeoGuessr today, guys. That's excellent. So let's go Croatia. I mean, it does actually kind of fit because of these other islands out there, or more land. Is there a port over here? Let's go for, like, I don't know, whatever. Oh, my days. Okay. Oh, well, we're at Point Roberts in, uh, I mean, it's in Vancouver, technically, but it's in the US. It's that place where they have to drive around to go to school. Um, we got 25 points. The colors of Croatia, not always to note that there is Croatia, okay? <laughs> So, how many points do we have? Oh, it's going to be hard to get over 10... Oh, right. Well, well, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. What more could I wanted? What even is that? What even is that? <laughs> Sun's over there. Sun's in the south, so we're in the northern hemisphere. We're on a cruise ship. So, I'm going to guess. The sea does look dark, so I'm guessing... Atlantic. We're in the ocean. I'm guessing we're in between the Caribbean islands, right? I'm going to go there because we're on a cruise. That's the only... Okay, right. Well, we're in, in the middle of the sea in, in Japan. <laughs> Great. Two points. Yes. Points. It's going to have to gonna have to get a 5,000. Booba Park. Oh, we, don't trigger me. We've already had boobs that I've had to uh, deny today. Get rid of them. Ticket eater. Okay. Hmm. Lane master. It's a classic arcade. We need clues from some of these games. Safari something. Hmm. Tubin. Twist. It's all in English. It's all in English. That's one thing to note. Like there's nothing else. Okay. No, that's not. Prairios. Oh. Soccer. The Simpsons soccer. Hmm. Saliba. Hmm. Aircon as well. Yeah, it's not England. <laughs> I mean, hmm. Why are all these things in English? Stop confusing me like this, globalism. Right. <sighs> I, 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 I sounded like Boris Johnson then, didn't I? Jesus. I, I, I don't... How? How can we get this? How? How? This... Oh, Jesus Christ. This is horrible. I mean, it's Barcelona colour. Like, Barcelona FC. FC Barcelona. Whatever it's called. Barcelona colours. Do you know what? It's Spanish, right? No, wait. Uh, Monster Oro. Monster Gold. Monster Gold. Oh, God. I mean, it's South America or Spain, right? I just, I'm just going to go Spain. I'm just going to go Spain. Like, uh, so many Spanish speaking. I mean, it's probably safer to go for South America. Going to go, like, Alicante. Let's go for that. Yep, it was uh, Argentina. Great. I knew it was safer to go for <laughs> the other people. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Right, let's let's play again anyway, guys. Let's play again. Let's get better than our average score. Look at these people. 25,031 seconds. They obviously knew what the drops were for every single one. That's just crazy. Right. All their reverse image uh, searching these images on Google. Okay, we're on a skidoo. Genuinely on a skidoo. Could be Antarctica. Could be Alaska. Could be Russia. It's it's based it's tundra out here. There's no trees. So we know it's very far north. There's no tundra in the southern hemisphere, I believe. Apart from on Antarctica. So we're either very, very far north Canada, Alaska, Greenland, or Russia. So that's a lot of options. Or in Antarctica. Antarctica is absolutely huge, though, as well. So, even if it is Antarctica, like, what are we going to do? 
Come on. Speed up. Speed up here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There are tracks. That leads me to believe... I mean, they could just be the tracks of the recent... I, that building back there, that held a few clues. I should have looked at that for a bit longer. It was like a wooden building. So I'm leading me to, to believe that it's Greenland. I I just guess it's Green, Greenland. Can we see the lady? No. Or man. I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking it's a woman. Could be anyone. Oh, my days. Anything on the horizon. It's very flat. I mean, the middle of Greenland's a big uh, mountainous range, right? So if it is Greenland, it's got to be... Hmm. <sighs> That's the... I don't even think... I don't think the tundra is this severe in, in, in Russia. <sighs> Do we go Antarctica? I'm just thinking if we go along, will it take us to the South Pole? That's the only thing I'm thinking of hope right now. Like, where does this track end? We shall go forever. Oh, God. Come on, over that over that air ledge. Doesn't feel like we're getting closer to it, not gonna lie. Alright, let's tap this. Go, 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 go. We're not getting closer. Do you know? Oh, wait. Check the sun. That will help. It looks like the sun is in the southwest. So I'm going Greenland. I'm going Greenland. Greenland's quite large. I'm going northern Greenland. Here. Okay. It was on the Hudson. Okay. So it was Canada. It's in the Hudson Bay. God, it looked bleak out there, bro. It must be freezing. Okay. Oh, come on, I should get this. When I say I should... I probably won't. <laughs> hmm. That flag. I don't recognize it. It's got a star on, though. That might be a clue. I mean, this artwork should be a clue, right? Hmm. It's got scaffolding in here. <sighs> Very... Am I right in saying this? I'm not a huge art historian, but is that that's the classical, like, Baroque... Is it Baroque-style art? Is that... Is it Christian? I mean, it's an angel. So, I'm assuming it's Christian art. A harp. They're holding up all different things. They must mean something. An anchor. Hmm... Yeah, lots of cherubs and stuff. Is that... I don't know. I, f I feel like it's got political connotations, that drawing as well. So that's hell, right? That's heaven. Uh, what the hell is that? That is some ugly-ass thing. I, I don't want to look at that. Let's have a look at this. Uh, it's so classical. So any writing anywhere? People through there. Hello, people. Do you know what? I'm thinking Italy. Oh, what's this? Is that just that's just tape? That's French. It's got a French flag on. Oh, could be France. I mean, it could definitely be France. I'm sure this is a famous thing that people know about. It's probably why it's in here. This is the guy taking the picture. Oh, you... mm. eh, Jesus! This is hard! Oh, guys, 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 guys. This, this map is the most cursed thing. I don't think I get anything else. There's not even Latin on these walls. I was expecting at least a little bit of Latin writing somewhere. And trying to decipher what it meant. Scaffolding in it. The only thing I'm going off is these things on these like stickers on the scaffolding. It's got a hole in. This painting's got a hole in, bro. What the hell happened there? Well, I'm going France then. It's, ooh. I mean, it's. Uh, I've got to go France. That's the only evidence I've got. And it looks fancy. I'm going to say it's in Versailles. Um. Let's go Chateau de Versailles. 
You are kidding me. It's in Havana. 51 points. Oh, my days. Uh, right. What in the hell have I just walked into? Cotton that's better for farmers, their children, and the environment. We're clearly in Ikea, right? Obviously. Uh, there's no website on there, though. I would love a website. I mean... If that isn't a British couple, then I don't know what I'm talking about. This has to be Britain. This screams Brit... Oh, there's an Irish flag there. Is that an Irish flag or is that just part of their furniture? I... New lower... I mean, it could be... Is there Ikea's in America? I don't know. It's everything's in English. Hmm. I... That is definitely an exit sign for the UK. But I'm assuming they all look pretty similar. And it's pounds. Okay, it is the UK. Can't believe I've not seen that earlier. Oh my god, it's massive everywhere. You're so dumb. Now we've got to find where in the UK. I mean, I've got to do the classic American thing and go, it's London, bro. <laughs> it is London. Not in Westminster. Let's go like... Oh, I know Watford. Let's go, say it's in Wembley. It's in Wembley. Near Primark in Wembley. Oh, it's in Manchester. Well, we still got 4,000 points, though. Come on. Okay. Gonna have to cut this out. I mean, I can just blur. So, look at those statues for a second, guys. And then I'm gonna turn around and cut it. Right, we'll cut here and we'll not look at those statues again. Just in case YouTube decides that it's too spicy for their liking. Hmm, cream. Uh, this looks very, very interesting. It's very pink. It's very pink. In fact, it's probably the pinkest shop I think I've ever seen. Uh, if we could get a price on something, it would help us immeasurably. I, I don't know. It could easily be the... Oh, we can move. Okay. Crepes, pancake, torta. Oh, give us that price. Is that a euro? Is that pounds? Oh, I don't know. More statues. Oh my god. This person is obsessed, bro. Weird statues. Oh, this is cursed. This is... This is the most cursed, cursed map I've ever seen. So that could be pounds or euros, honestly. <laughs> Some stickers write pounds like that. Okay, no. Fancy ref. Heisel. Is this Germany? Cake. Decorating accessories. No, that's in English. I think that's pounds, bro. It's a cake shop. Cake decoration shop. Oh. Let's have a look. I... Something demoli. What? No! Now it's... Now it's in Italian! What is this place? What is this? Oh. Well, we can go outside. I mean, I don't think we're supposed to, right? Let's have a look at... Okay, yeah. It's, it's, it's not the UK, guys. <laughs> it's not the UK. Can guarantee no places look like this in the UK. Uh, maybe after a few more decades of global warming, but not yet. Not yet. <sighs> Let's look at these cars. There's no particular order. There's a Merc there. Ford. Ford. Citroen Picasso. Fiat. There's so less French cars than I would expect in France. Well, it's in Italian. It's got to be Italy then, hasn't it? It's got to be Italy. But where? But where? That is the that is the real thing. Thirty one. It's even got sparkly things there. I wish we could see that a bit better. Is there another thing anywhere? Let's have a look. Anything else outside that might be interesting? Oh my god, bro. 
I th I mean, I... D... It's, it's gotta be Italy, right? It's, this is the weirdest shop I've ever seen. It's a mix between a weeb, a cake, and a gnome shop. All gone together, bro. What the hell? Let's see in this little area. Oh my god. I've got to end this at some point, haven't I? I think they were euros. They were not pounds. I think I think it's Italy, guys. Right. <laughs> Let's take a stab. Where's a bohemian-type place in Italy? It looked quite warm, though, so I'm not going to go north. I'll say uh, Florence. Go. Okay, we're in Rome. Why didn't I just go for the capital? Stupid. Right, let's play the next round. We got 9,000. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. No. I mean, this has to be America, bro. This has to be America. There ain't no places other than America that look like this. I can tell you right now. This is definitely America. Oh my god, yes. It is America. 100%. What the... What is going on, bro? It's all about silverfin fishing. That... I'm... I think with those lines, that's got to be American football, right? I think. I think that's American football. Hmm. Somewhere... I mean, it's dark wood, right? Let's go proper Sherlock Holmes mode on this. It's dark wood. It's about fishing tuna. Silverfin tuna are everywhere, right? I'm thinking, so I'm thinking Pacific Coast. But I'm thinking more north because of the dark wood. I could be completely wrong there. I don't know. Uh, then there's a shark. There's tuna. There's more tuna there. There's a lot of tuna. And am I... I could be completely wrong. That's silverfin tuna there, but... Silverfin tuna are generally in the Pacific, right? I mean, I, as I say, I could be completely and utterly wrong. I'm going Pacific Coast America. Could also be Canada, I guess. But I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Ocean Shores, Washington. What the hell? What? Memphis? What? What? Mate, Americans are a different breed, man. What is going on there? Why? Why would you have a silverfin fishing themed restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee? There's the Mississippi there, yeah, but there ain't no silverfin tuna in the Mississippi River, bro. I'm not sure they know that. Well, at least we got America. <laughs> I knew that straight away. Anyway, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this. We got above 10,000. It's trash. Next time, we'll probably do the same map and try and get above 15,000, maybe. It just depends on what we get again. If we get screwed over by a couple, um, <laughs> we might... We might get screwed over by a couple, but oh well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, please do subscribe, all that good stuff, and check out all the rest of my content. And I'll see you again on the next video.